Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to show you a simple adjustment layer trick you can use to make your somewhat boring photos a little bit more colorful and make them pop a little bit. So first of all, it's a little bit underexposed, so the first thing we can do is go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Exposure, and we don't want to overexpose everything because the sky looks just right. Just, just right here is a little bit dark, in my opinion, to see what's going on. So I'm going to turn the exposure up a couple notches till it's just right in this area, but you can see it gets way too bright up here. And that's okay, because you can head over to the masking section, and just I like to select color range in this case, and then you can just take your ink dropper, hold shift, and kind of swipe it across the bottom area here. And Photoshop does a pretty nice job of understanding where you want to select. And then you can turn down the fuzziness and play around with the range percentage until it highlights the areas that you want to. So this is what our ma mask looks like. And you can remember that white will reveal the effect and black will hide or conceal the adjustment. So the exposure adjustment layer is only being uh, affected on those white areas, which is the part we wanted to expose. So that has brought that problem up, so we've made the dark parts a little bit lighter without ruining the sky. And now I'm going to show you how to add some pop of color in there. So let's head over to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Color Balance. Now this is one of the easiest color adjustment layers to use, and it's still pretty powerful and effective. So I like to keep Preserve Luminosity checked, that just keeps the bright areas bright. And I like to start with the highlights. So I can see that there's a little bit of like that yellowish red from the sun poking out, but in the raw photo, it's not really there. So we could actually pull the highlight slider towards yellow and bring that tint into the photo. Again, be careful, you don't want to overdo it. And then you can also, if you want, add some red in there. So now we have that yellowish red glow, which just makes that sunset look a little bit better in my opinion and then I like to head straight to the shadows and do the opposite so we pulled the yellow into the highlights now I want to pull some more blue and darkness into the shadows so I'll add some blue and I want to be careful not to go too crazy and if I want I can even pull some cyan in there and maybe if you want to go green or purple you can adjust the green magenta slider Next, if you want, you can go to the midtones and play around with some color that you might have missed or an overall tint that you want, like green or cyan. But you just want to make sure everything complements each other and you're not pulling each slider to the same color every time and creating too similar of an effect. So I'm going to go back one more time to the shadows and maybe turn down that blue so it's not so powerful and maybe go back to the highlights and turn down that yellow a couple notches as well. And I think that looks just about right for me. So you can see how simple it was. And just to give you guys a good look at a before and after, this is before and this is after. So it's a really subtle effect, but in my opinion, it does make the photo pop out a little bit more and make the colors pop out at you. So again, no amount of editing is going to fix a bad photo but if you have a decent photo that's just somewhat boring you can still make it more interesting by adding the right colors in there and not overdoing it so hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial and you can use this technique in some editing of your own and combine it with other things that you like if you guys did enjoy this tutorial and you want to see more photoshop tutorials check out the photoshop playlists on my channel and subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for future videos thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next time